Welcome to today's episode of French Dish with Summer and Christy as we take you home to chat with dear friend, Meilleur Ouvrier de France chef, Christophe Contin. French dish. Welcome to French dish. Welcome. Cheers. 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 Mm. Wonderful. Mm. So, fabulous. Yes. I'm so honored to meet you. And so, thank you for welcoming us into your home. So, we've known each other for about 18, 19 years. Yes. Um, but it was Angelique who I met first. Angelique is. Who is Angelique? Angelique is my uh, my wife. Yeah, your woman. My, 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 my woman, yes. <laughs> What's the difference between wife and woman? Exactly. Yeah. I think woman is stronger than wife. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's just my okay. opinion. <laughs> it's, it's my wife and my woman. <laughs> we, we have, Both. Because in and French, then, yeah. in French you can say, um, c'est ma femme, oui. that's uh-huh. my woman. Or you can also say mon épouse. Yes. yes. So there's a distinction in French. There is a distinction. In English, yes. we mostly say it's my wife. Yeah, we don't say it's my woman or my man. Well, actually, women yeah. do say it's, it's my man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so today he's a man. <laughs> um, so you've known right. Christophe some twenty plus years, and how and, and Angelique as well, his wife. Yes, it's my friends Bernard and Christine who live in the village next door. Um, I remember Bernard talking to me about Angelique and how much she was passionate about cooking. She was a cooking professor. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he never mentioned you. Um, (laughs) (laughs) And he was like, you have to meet Angelique. She loves meeting people and loves being social and everything. And I was like, yeah, I would love to. So I met Angelique. And then uh, after Angelique and I started talking about potential doing cooking classes together, she talked about you, her best kept secret, her man. (laughs) And uh, yeah, so we started doing cooking classes long before the new kitchen was ever built. Sure, yes. Yeah, we were just in a little little mm, kitchen. And And we we, we start uh, with the cooking class with Angelique. Angelique uh, prepared the appetizer and often I propose the main dish mm-hmm. and the dessert and uh, at the beginning uh, we do that after we make another kind of lesson with uh, uh, wine and, uh, and regional food yeah mm. for so matching and preparing yeah, for preparing yeah and um, after that we let the preparing uh, experience and we just keep the, the cooking class. Yeah, oh gosh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I actually forgot about that. Yes, I remember that because <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I tried to find uh, the documents in my class, in, uh, in, my, uh, in my office. Uh-huh. And uh, I looked at, yes, we, do, we have done that with that's Christine. Right. Yeah. Yes, yes, when we were on the table and we, we started with. Remember, we, we went from the dry to the sweet. Yes. Yeah. We we test uh, seven or eight wines, different yeah. wines during wow. during three hours. Well. <laughs> and with each wine, 
we have a di uh, different kind of uh, appetizer. Mm -hmm. Small, small, uh, small yeah, piece. small, yeah, small portions. Yeah. 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 Yes. That's how you say it. Yeah. Fresh, uh, uh, and then food and wine pairs. Yeah, that and then we and then we moved to like uh, just during the cooking class. Mm. Gosh, wow, that I had forgotten about that whole other part. Oh my gosh! But what was most impressive is that when we first started the cooking classes, this whole renovated, brand new, gorgeous kitchen wasn't here. We were in the kitchen that originally yes. came when you built the house, yes. which was a very small kitchen. Everybody was always so impressed whenever I came with my guests. Always impressed. They're like. First of all, you're my oeuvre de France chef. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go into that later. <laughs> and Angelique is a professor of culinary arts. Mm -hmm. oh. And everybody was always impressed at the size of the kitchen and how much they were doing in the size of the kitchen. Right. Because they just expected naturally, if you're these really renowned chefs, you should have a huge kitchen. Mm -hmm. And you both showed them how much you could do in a small space. Right. Which was very, very impressive. And everybody always had a great time. And then, what was your motivation to grow and enlarge your kitchen? We built this kitchen we, uh, in uh, uh, five years ago, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. we, ex Beautiful. we extend the house. We uh, all the dining room come here. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any uh, dining room because we want to have an, an open kitchen. Mm. On the dining room, we want to, to see uh, the table and we want the guests can see when we cook, when we uh -huh. uh, do something. So that's, uh, um, this is very clear. Yeah. This is very pleasant to, uh, yeah. to see the land, to see uh, everything. So. Yeah, beautiful view on the garden, yeah. a nice view on um, the nature. So and they have a beautiful potage. Everybody's always interested, and so interested in visiting the potage. Yeah. <laughs> the vegetables. But nothing. Today, today there is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just put uh, some uh, fiva beans. Oh, yeah, to, yeah. to start to grow. But, They're uh, starting to grow. Yeah, yeah. that's all. But and it's but the 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 soil is uh, now ready. Because oh, I good. prepare all, yes. Yeah, because you grow lots of things in your I wait, vegetable garden. I wait we don't have any uh, frozen in the morning to yeah. start to... Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. To prepare mm. the jeune to make something, you have to wait till yeah, May, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I understand. Oh. Sometimes I start before May, Okay. Because, but I protect... Yes, you the, put a covering yeah, to yeah, the one, yeah. 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 So, I, you mentioned that Christophe is mayor of May de France. Moff? Moff. Moff for short. Can you explain to me what that is and um, how the training involved in becoming a Moff? Oh, mayor. yes, yes, because hold on oh, one second. Yeah. One, one second. Yeah. Mayor, mayor Ouvrier de France. The highest, most prestigious title you can have in France as a chef. And really quickly before he goes into details, when you have this title, it permits you to put the colors of the French flag on the collar of your chemise, your culinary chemise. If you don't have it, you have just a white collar. Mm -hmm. Well, the, um, this is a contest uh, uh, I choose to, to start to complete uh, when uh, I think I was ready uh, I think I uh, uh, have enough uh, knowledge and competencies mm -hmm. to, uh, for all the techniques mm -hmm. I can have to, uh, to show and to, uh, to improve for the contest. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, there is no preparation for this uh, kind of contest. This is just when you, you work in the industry mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. One day, if you enjoy to make contest, if you don't do enjoy that, don't make uh, this kind of uh, concours. Okay. But uh, if you enjoy contest and uh, if you think you are ready, uh, technical, technically mm -hmm. ready, uh, you can uh, do it. Okay. So uh, when I think I, I, I was ready, 
I, uh, I tried it the first time and uh, this contest is in two, uh, two parts. The first class is a regional uh, contest mm -hmm. and if you are... Uh, oh, it's the selection. Se yeah, if you are selected, mm -hmm. you go to the final. Ah, okay. okay? So, uh, the first time I tried it on, on the regional yes. uh, contest, it was not, bad, it was not good mm -hmm. enough, so I didn't go to the final. So, I tried four years, uh, four years after because the contest is each four years. Oh, only every four years. Yes. Wow. I tried again and uh, I, I, was, uh, I, I passed the, the sections okay. and I go to the final. Wow. So, when I, I know I'm uh, in the final, I'm a finalist, uh, I was happy. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> Sounds very good. And, and I said to me, well, you are in the final. You must win now. Yes. You must win because it's it's very difficult to to have a place in the finals. Yes. Yeah. And uh, in 1993 we were uh, so uh, 300 and uh, 350 uh, competitors, mm -hmm. and at the final we just were uh, 45. <gasps> so, wow! And uh, do you guys remember correctly? Yeah. You prepared for it like you would prepare for a sporting event. You were practicing recipes yes. and things. Just, yes. just, uh, just two weeks ago, you have the the theme, the same. Yeah, two weeks before the yeah. the final. Yeah, you have the the name of the recipes, mm. and you can test them, improve them, to have a good result, a better result, but. Sometimes when you have the recipe, you, you don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> the, <yeah. laughs> the, the French cuisine is so large. Yes. So, and uh, it, 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 it was nice, but uh, uh, you have time to, uh, uh, to train you mm -hmm. to, uh, to do uh, the different recipes. We have three dishes at the final to do. Ah. Uh, do you remember what they were? Oh, of yes. Oh, we, oh. we had a, a, a bag of turbots okay. cooking on a, on a, on a dish. Turbo, the fish? Yes. yes. Okay. Fish. Turbo. We'll, okay. we'll put the translation for yeah. what it is. I know, because there are so many different fish every time we talk it's about a white fish. fish. <laughs> it's the same in English, no? Oh, turbo. turbo I think, I think so, it might be the same. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> you have to cook it uh, in, a, in, a, in a dish, and uh, you must. Uh, Put some uh, fish uh, stock on the top. Mm -hmm. Slowly in the oven, you mustn't have any colors on the uh, white uh, skin. Oh wow! And we have uh, two dish, two uh, garnishes. Okay. Side we, 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 and we do we do what we want for the side dishes mm -hmm. uh, with uh, this uh, first uh, dish. Oh, okay. The second dish was uh, a bag of deer. Deer, yeah. deer, yes. Yes. Yeah, sure, okay. yes. And uh, we have to cook it, uh, to roast it, uh, we, have, we have to uh, fillet. Yes, fillet it. To slice it and to put it again on the bones. Oh! For the presentation. <laughs> oh, wow. So, but, but it, it, it must be nice. Yes, of course. And we have three uh, side dishes mm -hmm. to serve with it. Garnish. With a, a jus, Garnish. with a jus or a sauce. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I choose to. Um, to make a classical, uh, classical sauce, mm -hmm. who was uh, um, sauce uh, poivrade, because oh, this is a, this is a um, venison uh, fumet, venison sauce, who was reduced with some peppers, but I put some ginger inside <gasps> the sauce oh, and, oh, and, oh, yeah. and, and some coriander. And coriander? Yeah, oh so. my god. Yeah. And the, the test must be a very balanced to, to be nice. Mm -hmm. so that's what I, did. I so did. Coriander, sorry, is um, cilantro. Yes. Yes, cilantro. Yes. And, um, and for the dessert, we have to uh, prepare uh, an uh, upside down tart, um, apple tart. Um, we call that tartata in French because this is the name of the, uh, the dish. And uh, but it was a, a 
a little bit different because we must make a puff pastry mm -hmm. to put on, on the mm -hmm. top. And this uh, is the key. And the real recipe is with a, a dough pastry or classical dough. Classical dough pastry, yeah. 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 Sure. And they used a puff pastry and the difference was that it created a crunchy. Mm. Here we go again. The crunchy and yeah. the soft. Yes. Oh. Sounds married together. Yeah. Sounds delicious. And let me tell you, the first time I had the tart tatin here, mm -hmm. it's the last time I ever had it in a restaurant. So <laughs> I only eat it here. Oh, I love tart tatin. Mm -hmm. Before we get to the tart tatin, Christy mentioned that you worked with Alan Ducasse. Yeah. And world famous. He has restaurants all over the United States mm -hmm. now. Uh, three star Michelin chef. Did you take your that exam to be the meilleur ouvrier de France, the MOF, before you worked with Alain Ducasse? Yes, after? yes, yes, before. Oh, okay. I, because okay. Uh, I, I passed uh, the contest in 1993 and I met uh, Alain Ducasse in uh, 2007. And because, may, I, yeah. Yeah, may I interject something? Okay, just to clarify, because I know you're new to the MOF and everything. Right. Um, it's a competition. Just so everybody knows, it's a competition. It's not an exam. It's not something uh, that every chef can pass. You have to actually uh, register for it. And if I remember correctly, in order to get selected to participate in it, uh, we discussed once that um, uh, one of the tests was making an omelet. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. You had to fair omelet. Wait, yes. Yes, yeah. and that's how you get selected. You just had to make an omelet, and based on how you made the omelet, you were selected or not. That's yeah. Right. Sometimes and the simplest things. And can also, also and also, can I just toot your horn because Alan is not a mayor of Red Falls. No, no, oh. no. But <laughs> be, 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 because he, he, the man. Yeah. Because he, uh, he didn't pass this exam, this, uh, this contest, because that's why he is not a mayor of France. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> but uh, between uh, 1993 and 2007, mm -hmm. uh, Joël Robuchon mm -hmm. asked, asked, asked me uh, to help him because he was the president of the contest oh, he was during this period, him. and he asked me to help him to uh, ameliorate the uh, evaluation. Uh, yeah, to improve the evaluation yes. process. Ah, yeah. so the criteria process, yeah, for judging. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So I start to do that. And ah. when, on one road, uh, Joël Robuchon uh, stopped to do that, and Alain Ducasse uh, became the president of the contest, Alain Ducasse asked me to continue to do that. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I do it and I've uh, done it and I'm always uh, one of the three uh, vice presidents of the contest. Yes. Uh, with uh, Alain Ducasse, who is always the uh, president. Wow. You don't? No, that's, uh, <laughs> that's quite the impressive slate. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's very hard to get him to like talk about how great he is. Mm -hmm. So I always do it for him when I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Incredible. And these star chefs, um, Joel Robichon, I know, also has restaurants all over the world. He's working a lot in the now sort of vegetarian, and isn't he the one who's doing a lot more vegetarian things and working with vegetables? Yes. That, that, and he's well known in Japan yeah. as well, if I understand. That's um, a bien sujet. Uh, a at, a mode, at a mode, yeah, it's uh, very popular. Fashionable. fashionable, yes, because mm -hmm. but it's fashionable, but I think it, it will be uh, something who will uh, stay for a long time mm -hmm. because uh, the way of life change, yes, and the, um, the alimentation, the needs that we have to, to eat, uh, is are different now because. Mm -hmm. We don't work very hard, we don't need to have a lot of things to, to eat, mm -hmm. and we know for the health uh, we mustn't eat too much uh, salty, too much sugar, and too much uh, grease. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's, that's yeah. why when you eat more vegetables, you can, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you can, I don't know, 
Uh, améliorer, uh, améliorer la santé. Slowly, apples cooked, slowly. Uh, 
very scary because uh, what I want, I want that uh, sugar and uh, butter uh, go in the apple. Yes. When it's completely cooked, I press slowly and I let it cool. Okay. Separately, I cook my puff pastry. Separately? I, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I prefer to cook it separately because what I want, I want to have a diff, uh, different of taste mm -hmm. between fresh feed, as uh, she said. <laughs> Okay. She said, she said, all my secret. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the stuff of the apples. Okay. Does this and remind you, if you've been watching our video series, yeah. uh, this might remind you of when we talked about our little gourmet fish sandwich with Crystal Comb, the soft, the crunchy, all the combination of flavors and textures, textures in the mouth. And this choose the choice, so it's the, the choice. choice of apples, of kind of yeah, that's very important too. Important. Uh, what kind of apples? Do, oh, do usually, I this is a kind of dessert I do uh, during autumn and the beginning of winter, because the, the best apples I can find is uh, Reine de Renette in French. This is in the in queen, queen yeah. of Pippin. Queen of Pippin in English. And this is a very good uh, uh, kind of apple because uh, it's a little bit acid. The not, red, not, green? Not too sweet. What kind of color? Uh, uh, yellow, red, and yeah, uh, it's kind a of mix. little bit brown. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this kind of apple is not too big, but it's very a uh, little bit acid. Okay. And I want to balance the taste between the, the quantity of sugar I put in the, uh, in the recipe mm -hmm. and the acidity. And we have the, the, the balance of mm. taste between the two uh, yeah. products. That's why I enjoy that. But outside, out of the, uh, the season of autumn and winter, I use uh, Golden Delicious mm. and, uh, or Gala. Yeah, but but I, never, I never use uh, Granny Smith. Smith because Granny Smith has a lot of water inside. Mm. And uh, there's not a lot of pectin because the quantity of pectin contained in the apple and, uh, is very important. Pectin is... Pectin. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Because when you return it, you have to, if you want to have to something who uh, stay uh, yeah. still sticky... Yes, yes. Yeah. it doesn't if, fall apart. If you, if you don't have enough pectin, uh, with the brain yeah, smith, for, for example, right. it's, uh, it's a just scratch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. Okay, I understand. Um, I do have, so it sounds like there's this really important um, marriage between the butter, the sugar, the vanilla beans, mm -hmm. the apple, the type of apple, mm -hmm. but isn't also the crust very important? Like what do we do about the crust? Do you do, you make your own pastry dough obviously? Mm -hmm. um, oh, they make everything. Of course. Of like course. like being invited for a quick pop-up lunch. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, we're just going to eat something quickly. Oh, yes. Sauce made from tomatoes from the garden, homemade nochi, yeah. So oh, everything homemade, homemade. Here. Everything. So is that, and you say you cooked a pastry dough before, so mm -hmm. is there an easy, I, I always struggle with making my own pastry dough. Because it's um, complicated. Yeah, so I don't know if there are tips to, to any secrets that you have for... For the professor? Wait, what if that's... Well, the secret is the time, because uh, mm -hmm. you, you need time to do it, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a little bit of technique, because... Uh, That's what I'm missing. When, when, <laughs> when, you, when, you, start, when you start to, uh, to melt uh, flour and water and salt, uh, you must uh, work it for a long time, because you, we don't want to have some elasticity, Yes. With the gluten, okay? Yes. So we mix it quickly and after that you must let it cool yes. in the fridge for minimum one hour. Okay. Okay. When <coughs> when it's ready, oh, you you must uh, uh, ins uh, must insert insertion in uh, insert, insert it. Yes. Uh, your batter in uh, in the in the dough. Yeah. But the, the, um, like, so it's in the center? Like la, no, uh, la texture, the texture yes. of your dough and your batter must be exactly the same. Yes. This is the first point, very critical. You roll your dough, you put your batter 
on the half of the size and you cover it with the rest of the, the other part of the road. Ah. Your battery is completely closed in your dot. After that you roll it. Okay. You roll it in a, a rectangle. And when you plie, fold it. you fold it, you fold it in three. Like a portefeuille, they say. Yeah, like, like a wallet. Like a man's wallet. Okay. You, uh, you fold it like you're in three and you turn it for a quarter of a ton yeah. and you roll it again and you fold it in three again. This is the two first roll of your, uh, of your, uh, your pastry. Okay. You let it cool mm -hmm. for one hour. One hour after you take it, again, you, you roll it again, okay. you fold it, a quarter of a ton, roll it, fold it. You are one hour in your fridge and you do that twice. Okay. So six, six uh, fold. Six folds, yeah. Six fold. Wow. Yeah, okay. To finish your password. So it's an easy and recipe, is, but this it's very crunchy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is very crunchy crunchy. And this is very tasty. But for this recipe, this recipe, this is a classical recipe for the pub password. Okay. And uh, if you want to make a meal fur, you want to have mm -hmm. a, a, a pastry who will be very high. Or uh, if you want to make a, a vol au vent, yeah. uh, something au boucher, à la well, you want to have something high. Okay. But for this recipe, I don't fold it six times, I fold it four times. That's enough. Oh. Be because I want to have something flat and crunchy. Ah, okay. so, so the fact of folding it many yeah, times yeah, will change yeah, the sure, consistency. Yeah. Because okay. each time you fold it, you uh, have um, a line of uh, of, past of uh, dot, butter, dot, dot, butter, dot. Okay. And the superposition of, of that, when you cook it, butter start to melt and evaporate the, uh, the water within in the butter. Mm -hmm. And the water <coughs> won't evaporate and that's yeah. develop your pastry. Yeah. Ah, okay. C'est l'humidité, la vapeur qui fait pousser la pâte. Oui. Impressive, huh? Chemistry, science, and it's just... And technique. And yeah. technique, absolutely. Yeah. And that's what's so beautiful about all cooking, is just also um, all the technique, but the time mm -hmm. that is spent preparing just one meal. Yeah. When it's such an act of love, right? Because there's so much it time really is. and And, and here it. in Christophe Nall's Lake's home, it really is an act of love. I mean, you guys Aww. work as a team so well. You do so many things. You can yes. together. You make jams together. I mean, really. <laughs> oh, and yeah, during confinement. I forget, what was it? You all were doing, um, you weren't just cooking together, but you all did something during the first confinement with Paul, Axel, Angelique, all four of you together. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, was it, I, I can't remember if it was you or Axel who put it on Instagram. But you guys were all doing something yeah, together, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it yeah, was yeah. an expression. Yeah, bread, yeah and it was an bread. expression about a family who cooks together, stays together, and it was uh, so adorable because yeah, I have so many pictures of you and my wife come for cooking mm -hmm. class and dinner and everything in the evenings on my tours, yeah. uh, where all four of you were working together, and I photographed, and it's like. Amazing because the you're synergy, sure. yeah. Because so you're uh, the kids, top level chef. Your your wife Angelique is also a chef. Yes, and does good lessons. And your children, I learned, are yeah. also. Yeah. Is this, yeah. this, this, this to this uh, now uh, cooking and hotelry uh, uh, and wine? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because so when uh, Axel was just uh, a little girl, she was in the kitchen and cooking class yeah. with us, chopping tomatoes. Yeah. Like a pro. And then Paul getting involved. That's wonderful. So the yeah, children Paul, Paul started history. early cooking. And yes. I know that in France, and this might be different than what we're used to in the States, we're both American, of course, that the children are tasting lots of different foods very early because mm -hmm. it's very important in France yes. to educate the palate. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And it's even very important. And yeah. they enjoy it all. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? All, they enjoy all the food. They enjoy all the food. Yeah. And if they don't mm -hmm. like something, they 
it's okay, but they will try it again, right? It's not a... Si ils n'aiment pas quelque chose la première fois, ils vont peut-être réessayer yes. une autre fois. Yes. Oui, yeah. on ne les, yeah. les force pas, ils essayent plusieurs fois oui. de goûter. Et le goût de the test of the, of the, uh, the children change slowly yeah. yes. with the age. And some things they don't like at, uh, at the beginning, at the two years old, perhaps when they are 14 or 15, yes. they enjoy yeah. it slowly. But the importance is that they For example, try it, yeah. and then if they yeah. don't like they are not forced, yeah. but just try and, and yeah. then come yeah, back to it and revisit it. it. It's a you for me. Our, yeah. daughter, our, daughter, I mean. our daughter at Cell, uh, at the beginning, the, she didn't enjoy uh, oysters. Mm -hmm. and, and now she enjoys them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because so. each time, at the beginning, she, she you just test the water of oysters. Oh, yeah. It's sea salt. It's sea, 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 sea water. Sea, sea, sea water, sea water. But she tells us she enjoys it. After that, we try to step taste. Step by step. Step by step, yeah. And now she enjoys that. Oh, that's wonderful. And um, I think that's the difference with us. Like, if kids don't like something, we just, maybe in American culture, we used to just feed them kid food. Yeah. But then they won't develop their palate, right? So yeah. the French have kind of... That's, that's, it's, that's what is very important. This is uh, to uh, educate them with uh, fresh food. Fresh Fresh yeah. food. Non-processed. Yes, yes, because this is very important because uh, uh, the test is different when you open a, a can or uh, if you uh, cook it. Absolutely. For example, uh, our son uh, Paul, he, he, he didn't enjoy uh, mushrooms mm -hmm. because uh, at, the sc at school he, oh, yeah. he eat mushrooms, but it was mushrooms from cans. Yes. This is uh, elastic. Yeah, we're testing rubbery, rubbery, yes. So slowly we start to educate him uh, to test the mushrooms uh, raw at the beginning oh. and, yeah. and after that cooked. And that change, his, uh, his test change, and now he enjoy uh, mushrooms. He can uh, he can eat. Uh, uh, sap, uh, wild, wild mushrooms, yeah. everything. That's and, good. And, 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 and now, that's a, a, a trouble for us, we have a luxury test. Oh! Yes, and truffle. And truffle. Black truffle. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That's a little mushroom. bit more expensive, so but yes. now we enjoy mushrooms. Yes, we if you happy. educate your children's palate very well, you might be in trouble because they'll really want the finest yeah. of the food. No, I think it, it's really different. I just, I've seen children, and I, I, I was a child like that myself, where tasting food, it was almost a pain. A child will keep it in their mouth, like, and it's Spit like being forced. It looks like they're going to torture. Yeah. But in France, it's different. You're, you're just asked to taste. If you don't like it, that's okay. And you might taste it the next time, but it has to be the fresh yeah. food. Yeah. But the, uh, the test education is uh, a, a point that is very important for the, for the children. Yeah. Because uh, when the children is uh, uh, in, the, in the mother, uh, yeah. be, be, mm -hmm. okay? in, in, before, before uh, the net, what's going on? Before being born. Before being born. So uh, it, it starts to, to test. Uh, to test if, yeah. if the mother enjoys uh, sugar, he enjoys this well, kind yes. of taste. Okay. So uh, when, after that, when he is born, if you uh, give him some uh, some sugar, some some food with a uh, uh, with a lot of sugar, of bad food, mm, yeah. the test starts to okay. to be uh, uh, deformed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. just wondering. Okay, when I was pregnant. With Oliver, I ate like probably a baguette at every meal, and not just alone with butter, salty butter from Brittany, mm. and goat cheese. Goat cheese. Oh. Okay, now when my son was born, he loves baguette to this day. Twenty-five years old, loves baguette. Yes. Can't stand goat cheese. So you oh, know, okay. it, it makes you wonder. Yeah, like eating because I eat it in excess. I mean, I just had cravings for it when I was here, mm -hmm. and. So maybe I eat too much. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But it's true, I think they do, they get a real taste from the very beginning. That's what I'll point to the... Yeah. Um, <coughs> so mom's you know, based on, based on what mom's yeah. eating, and if mom's eating healthy, then, then they will too. But it's beautiful, so the, the, the kids too, so develop their taste, would cook alongside you, and now they too would like to be yeah. chefs, or... And, and, you guys, you took XL and Paul to nice restaurants, Michelin star restaurants when they were young. We should go to the movies. Bah, vous amenez les enfants dans les restaurants oui. Michelin? Oui, 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 oui. oui. De... Ouais. 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 Et très jeune, non? I, I think we, we never go in a restaurant, uh, just uh, Angelique and myself, alone. Mm -hmm. We have always our children with us. I like and that, it's beautiful. At the, yeah. the, first, the, first, the first time uh, Paul uh, go in a restaurant, he was in a, in a, in a basket. Oh, like uh, a... King, king basket. Like, like a, a baby basket? A baby yeah, basket, yeah. yes. Yeah. And he, he was just be, behind <laughs> yes. us. And uh, yeah, he, he, he tastes uh, everything, all, all the time. Oh, yeah, that's so adorable. Well, I'm very, can you tell us a little bit about the wine? Speaking because uh, this is unusual. It's a sparkling wine yeah. too. Yeah. It's um, oh, okay. it's a sparkling. It's a sparkling red. Okay, no, wait, hold on, because it's not the same one we had with. No, we don't. The other night any... we had a pair. Oh, sorry, we broke curfew the other night. Um, okay, for a long time we've been on six p.m. curfew in France, and it was extended to seven p.m. So we've been invited to all these little aperos, and the apero in France is the aperitif or the cocktail hour. And so we've been taking advantage to be invited, and we've been breaking curfew, staying longer than we should, but we're having fun. You can't, after a year, you know, we're just, we're keeping our social distancing in place and stuff like that. But with Guillaume and Julia from the Hotel de Pavillon Delis, we had a beautiful red sparkling from Sumer. From Sumer. You know yes. the different. Yeah. 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 Yes. yes, exactly. Yes. It was yes. fabulous. And, and now I just realized, sparkling. yeah, they're wearing another. So they said that it was an institution in Sumer. Yes. Yeah. It was absolutely they, delicious. They create, they create this kind of product. Uh, they create, yeah, I've had yeah. people in the wine shop, because yeah. I work at the Cabo Boys wine shop, ask me about it. And um, so this is just a local producer from Nimare, which yes. is a small yeah. village next door. Yeah. Also the very delicious, which shows that they're the big houses that are very nice, but you can find small producers doing uh, wonderful things too. So is there a reason why you chose this? Is it going very nicely with a sweet tartata? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's a touch sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it's very smooth though. Yeah. yeah. Touch sweet, because I'm not really a big fan of sweet. Not too sweet. But yeah, it's just sweet, 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 smooth, yeah, yeah, yeah. not too bubbly either. Yeah. It's Should we evaluate and rate the bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> we could go into all kinds of details. So anyway, yes. Um, delicious. I guess maybe we should get going, uh, finish our glasses and get going on yeah. the tart -ta -ta. Oh, Yeah, sure. Did we yeah. cover all the bases? Yeah, did we cover everything? That's yeah. what we need to be sure of. Did we, did we cover? What is the most difficult oh, yeah. recipe you've done? For the tartata? -ta -ta. No, for no, anything. Everything. Or is that the plus compliqué? I don't know. I Do don't you know, know the film Babette's Feast? Yes. The first time yeah. Babette? <laughs> yes, yes. So this is the idea, it's a movie, a Danish movie, Danish, a yeah. uh, movie called uh, Babette's Feast, the first time in Babette, yeah. where there's a, a recipe coming from a French restaurant yeah. that's 15 courses or something, and she, she, because the Danish people in the film are very austere, so no pleasure of the oh. So she's working, you know, she goes there and she says, I want to make one meal for you, and she makes this beautiful French meal. Oh, and yeah. so, it, do you have your Babette's feast? Do you have something no, that you? Not really, because uh, um, some recipes are more longer to do to prepare. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is uh, for for me a recipe is an addition of techniques, the different techniques. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you make, uh, um, for example, uh, uh, chicken roast. It's, it's 
very easy. It's, it's easy. Yes. But it's, it, it could be complicated because you are, if, if you take your chicken at the beginning, you have to uh, empty it. Yes. It, okay? Yeah. You have mm -hmm. to uh, string it. Mm -hmm. You have to roast it slowly at the beginning mm -hmm. and to start to color it at the, at the end. Mm -hmm. If you want to have the fillet were soft and the legs completely cooked. So this is a kind of sure. different points of techniques who are yes. very important. The, in, this, in this kind of uh, recipe, you can put some fresh herbs inside mm -hmm. the chicken or mm -hmm. between the skin yeah, and, and the, and the yeah. meat. Yes. Okay. You can change the recipe a little bit, but in the thing, this is different points of techniques. And when your chicken is completely cooked, you have to prepare the juice right. with all the, the things you have in your dish when you, where you cook your, 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 your chicken. Right. You have to prepare a good juice. Mm. This is the simple, this is the, the simplest, the simplest uh, recipe of, of sauce. Okay. But you have to uh, to do that very. Uh, Precise. Yes. Okay. And uh, well, this is a, it, it. It could be a, when you say oh, what's chicken. This is very easy. Very easy to do that. But yes. You can make a mistake, and the yeah. result is not good. Yeah, it's like your example of the omelet. It seems mm -hmm. simple, but yes. it, yeah, but to if do it's it simple. perfectly, it's yeah. very difficult. If you cook it too much, if there is to correct colorated mm. uh, the choose of eggs yeah it's like for the it's like for the chicken if you choose a chicken with who was uh, industrial. industrial yes or if the chicken was in a, in a field the taste uh, what what eats the chicken is different it changes the taste of yeah. the meat absolutely so everything is different. so at the beginning for uh, to have a good uh, a good meal and to cook with uh, all the chance to really uh, to uh, to re to succeed to, to su succeed your recipes, mm -hmm. you must choose the good products. This is yeah. the, this is the best. And that's the one the, thing in France. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, there's such an emphasis on fresh, yeah. fresh veggies. Yeah. Yeah. So we're Using coming to you fruits. from the Loire Valley. Um, we're not far from Amboise. We're between Amboise and Bois, and this well, the Loire Valley in general, but. It, it's known as the Garden of France, uh, right? Yes. The, the, a lot of the it's a strawberries, huge agriculture area. Mm -hmm. So so much uh, fresh produce is, for all of the country yeah. is coming from this area, and it's a leader in organic uh, movement. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. uh, bio, yes. me, yeah. bio organic is coming from this area. So and this is this is asparagus yeah. country as well. Yes, wow. that's and that's it's asparagus season right now. That's the, <laughs> that's the beginning of the season. Yeah, yes. Everyone's yes. very excited. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things that really, uh, when I first came to France many, many years ago, is for food is such a tradition here, and people get so excited with the seasonal products. It's yes. asparagus season, and uh -huh. literally it's a party. <laughs> yeah, asparagus season, is a shop, tomato a shop season, strawberry season. season. Between yeah. March and, and beginning of June. It's yeah. very short. That's why we enjoy to cook it and to test it because <gasps> all around all around the year we don't have as far as yeah right and that's why fresh. on French menus yeah. you see each season very specific vegetables the entire season for two to three months yeah. and then not again you won't see it again until, until the it's following fresh year because yeah. everything is fresh so exactly. you have asparagus in the fall you have the potiron the pumpkin. Yeah. Um, yeah, every season has its vegetables, and French are very much a part of and eat You take advantage sites. of that. Yeah. And, and also because villages have festivals, tomato festival, onion festival, <laughs> they celebrate the change of vegetables coming into season. Yeah. And that's... that's um, Hi, Angelique! That's, there uh, she is! <laughs> c'est une... Uh, comment s'appelle? 
actuellement euh, nous voit, c'est que les cuisiniers français, euh, de, de plus en plus, ne veulent plus cuisiner de produits hors saison. Oui, you know, they, 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 the chefs no longer want to cook with yeah. uh, any kind of vegetable that's out of season. Every, they want everything in season. Like vrai. whatever's in season, that's what we're going to work with. Ça n'a, ça n'a pas de sens de cuisiner de la tomate à, à Noël. Euh, parce que elle est, elle est pas bonne. Elle est, elle est, yeah, Christmas is not too good season. C'est, c'est l'importation, mais ça, ça, a goût, ça a pas de bon goût quoi. Yeah. Un grand goût de la tomate qui vient du, du potager en pleine saison. Oui, exactly. Yeah, when your tomatoes are coming from your garden fresh, yeah. that's the best time in the hot season. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. okay. So well, well, merci yeah. beaucoup pour toutes ces explications. Okay, let's let's move next door and get cooking. Let's get cooking, shake and bake. <laughs> yes, Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. God, I hope I was recording that. Oh, qu'est-ce que ça c'est aussi un. Je sais pas, c'est Chrissy qui dit après c'est elle, Abidas, tu peux faire un gros plan, puis après tu passes. Ah oui, ça c'est. Oui. Attends, j'ai bavé sur. Ah, t'as bavé aussi Purée. C'est pas vrai ça. Non, je vais pas le pull. Ok, attends, je vais faire comme ça. D'abord, je vais faire un petit. Je vais préparer le plat aussi. Ok. On est tous là. Essaye, il ne faut pas qu'on voit le bâtard derrière. Oui, je. Et au pire. Sur le bord, juste sur le bord, j'ai mis euh, un petit streusel. Alors, c'est pas, c'est pas d'ici le streusel, c'est alsacien. Ooh. Ah, yeah, streusel, c'est alsacien. Ouais, c'est comme du crumble, ça fait comme une pâte à crumble tout autour. Ouais. Et, ouais. et, et fin de compte, ça faisait joli, tu vois. Et ça amenait oh. du croustillant en plus. Bah, ok. C'était ouais. le gâteau d'anniversaire à Paul parce qu'il voulait que je lui fasse une tarte tatin pour son anniversaire. C'est vrai Oh, super. Bon, tu me dis un peu en toi. Tu hein. comprends pourquoi hein. Quand t'es prête, tu me dis. Yeah, we can go. C'est bon, yeah. Yeah, ça tourne. Yes, ça tourne. Tu me dis rien. Do you, do you want me to, I don't need to be in it at all. Do you want me to film a little bit? So, or, or you're fine there, or do you want me to, yeah? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, come, come. Okay, okay. It's a family project. Yes, it is. Donc je prends, ah. I, I, mm-hmm. I take this uh, utensil, it's exactly the size of the moule to cut the puff pastry. I cut, I cook in advance. Yes. Um, yeah, we should probably explain that. And I cook it separately, as we say. Yeah, in the yeah. copper pot here, the copper pan, we've already caramelized the sugar, the vanilla, the butter, mm. added the apples, slow cook them until they were caramelized, release the pectin so they stay stuck together. Christophe's made his homemade and wow. pastry. Hey, gourmand! <laughs> mm. Yes, you can. Oh. <laughs> and the key to keeping it crusty when you put it with the apples. And I caramelize this side because mm-hmm. this is the side who will be in contact with apples. Mm. Like the caramelize, um, okay, we keep the moisture. We, we, mm. Because I don't want it moist. Yeah, it keeps the moisture from passing through. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good point. Okay. So the caramelized side goes yeah. on the side of the mm-hmm. apple. Yeah. So the and it keeps the crust crunchy. crunchy. Mm. Because here we go again. Crunchy, soft. You've mm. got to respect both. Mm-hmm. And now the tart was cooked slowly. And now it, it's completely cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I read slowly mm-hmm. because I want to just to melt the caramel. We can see the caramel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, sugar. Yeah. The so these were cooked the butter, the sugar to make the caramel and yeah. then mm-hmm. the apples yeah. together. So the yeah. butter and sugar and mm-hmm. the vanilla. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shows into the <laughs> Can you show this way? Okay. Yeah. Like that they can see. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. And I'm serious because, when I say because now it's, it's yeah. sticky. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what I are we gonna do? I eat slowly. <laughs> okay, yeah. I eat slowly, and the caramel start to melt, mm-hmm. and when it's completely melted, nearly completely melted, 
I, we, we can move apples mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we will be ready to return. Elle a refroidi depuis ce matin. What is your uh, position on cinnamon? Oh. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy cinnamon, but if, 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 it's, if it's in this kind of recipe, you can put some cinnamon if you enjoy it. Okay. But uh, I don't Cinnamon uh, is l much less widely used in France yes. than in the States. Um, ooh, beautiful. Start moving. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Oh, it's perfect. Now, I return the pastry on the top. Mm -hmm. ooh. Look at that. And I can turn completely. Yes. Okay, I press to stick them. Yeah. Apply some pressure, yeah. And now the magic moment. We are ready. This is the magic moment. To return. Ah yes. Okay. We okay. have to do the countdown. This is the scary part. <laughs> ready? Oh, this is the moment. <gasps> oh yeah. Okay. This is where we determine if we're having ice cream or tart tata. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because we never know if it's burnt or not. Uh -huh. that's, that's why I, have all, I always have one liter of ice cream. Just because this is burnt. I'm back up I just serve, in place. I serve, I serve uh, ice cream <laughs> in place. Somehow I think. <gasps> Look oh. at it. Oh, Look at this beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, almost wipe out on the counter. Oh, Christy! I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. That's oh, not yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Look at that. Look it's at how beautiful, beautiful it is. And uh, wait until we taste it. Because summer, I keep telling you, like, ever since I had tart tata at Christophe Nolge Leaps, uh, I never eat it in the restaurant. Yes? Never, no, because no. it's the best I've ever had is here. Yeah, it's wow. wonderful. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. And this is the recipe I've done at the final of uh, the meal. Really? Yes. 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 Exactly yes. the same recipe. Well, really, at the end, I put a little bit some sugar on the top and I put it under the grill um. to, have, to have something with more uh, brillant. Brillant. Yes. Shiny. Shiny. Yeah. Mm. Right. This is just the. Uh, any difference, but mm. so I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of apple pies or apple. I don't even like. Uh, like I don't even like sweets. But tarte de tain is one of my most favorite yeah. desserts. It's it, anyone who doesn't think they like cooked apples, try a tarte de tain. It will change your mind. It changed mine. It's so good, and I bet this is going to be the best I've ever tasted right. from such a renowned chef. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Christophe. Well, thank you uh, for coming. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you for coming. Wait. I okay. like you. Well, so now, now we yeah, come on. Okay, okay. maybe you've got to go pick up your son. Yeah. Enjoy. Uh, we, we, we just I'm not leaving without right. seeing that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's okay. it. And I, I always add the mold. Uh -huh. I use for uh, the final. Ah, yes. Uh, Paul Bocuse. You do? Paul Bocuse and Joël Robuchon yes. uh, give, uh, give me a gift. It was the mold. So I, do, I the use mold, for the mold. It's right there. I'm going to I'm going to show you in a yeah. few minutes here. And they give me ah. the, the mold I use for the final. Wow, is that with, a tradition? With, with my, yeah, right there. Yes. Yeah. It was oh. just a uh, so this uh, was a present. Yes, this is what. This what is you made the top tat down in yes. last time? Yeah. Okay, we'll show you. This is what uh, you made it. Yes, at the competition. And if you if you look inside, there is uh, uh, always a sugar burn, burnt sugar. Oh really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh fabulous. Okay, oh. so let's let's taste right. this, baby. Let's do it. This is a very easy uh, recipe because you have just sugar, butter, apple, puff pastry, and vanilla. Five, yep. five, five ingredients. ingredients. It's not difficult. Yeah. And, and yeah. after that, you can 
you can cook it uh, easily because uh, uh, you just need to have um, a special bowl for tata, but you can use a, a saucepan, a saute pan. Yes, exactly. saute pan. Yeah, saute pan, a non stick saute mm -hmm. pan, for right. example, you can use it. Mm -hmm. And you have nearly so the same re result. Really? And so you mm -hmm. cook your apples first, like melt the butter with the sugar to make you it caramel? You melt, you melt, no, no, not, I don't cook in a caramel, I just melt butter and sugar. Okay. And when it's just melted, I put apples. Mm -hmm. uh, the boo, uh, yeah, you stand the apples in a uh, pecker okay. one after the other. And after I cook slowly on the, on the fire, mm -hmm. okay? And when the uh, apples are completely cooked, mm -hmm. I stop and uh, I uh, let it cool. Okay. And I put separately uh, my uh, bath spray. Uh -huh. And when I'm ready, I finish it like that, I show you. Yeah, ah. you put them together and And you can cook your apples uh, in the morning. To serve for the dinner. Yes. Yeah, because like if you said, you can just sleep it in the If you don't have time, mm -hmm. uh, if you have a guest at home or a friend, you can prepare it in advance. It's perfect. And it's it so is. Good. And it is. And yeah. that is one of the secrets I've learned uh, coming to your cooking classes yeah. also, and just eating in general at your house. It's not really about the cooking per se. That's a huge part of it, but the important part is preparation. Being able to create and fulfill recipes in advance so that when you do have guests, you can spend a lot of time with your guests rather than being cornered in the kitchen the whole time yeah. right. preparing the meal. Because the whole point of getting together in France is to be social, to yeah. enjoy. It's a, huge, it's a very social culture. And so if you have friends over, you don't want to have to spend hours in the kitchen when your guests are here. You want to be able to have the apparel, cocktail hour with your friends and have a good time and you just come in the kitchen warm everything up because it's you've been able to prepare the recipes in advance and then enjoy them all together correct it's right, easy yeah. but deli so delicious and a huge everyone loves to have to have them, right yeah. do you, uh, do you yes. serve uh, also what is your position do you serve it comme ça au nature ou avec un peu de crème anglaise ou un peu de fraise mm. nature Ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice but cream. But I prefer just with uh, just uh, double cream. Ah, uh, crème mm -hmm. fraîche. Crème like fraîche, yeah. yes, with oh, no sugar. Oh, crème No sugar, so it's a little bit tart but with the. We taste it now, no? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's, <laughs> no, you, you please, go. please, 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 no, 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 no. It's not cool. Uh, it's not curfew yet. Right. <laughs> let's taste. Okay. Yay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Don't forget to have the. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Le sucre et la fraîcheur de la crème vient s'équilibrer avec le, le, comment le, le, le tiède oui. de, la, de la tarte. Ouais, C'est un, dess un dessert de contraste. Il y a le croustillant avec le mou, il y a le sucre mm -hmm. avec l'acide, il y a la, le chaud avec le froid. Enfin, toi, C'est ouais. ça qui est, euh, qui est meilleur. Euh, je prends des cuillères ou des Ah oui, euh, cuillère, cuillère. Oui. Plutôt, ouais. Parce que ça se coupe pas, ça, ça, se, ça va pas être bon à manger. Oui. Ce que j'aime aussi avec le tortilla, c'est qu'on va manger pour le goûter, pour le dessert et pour le petit déjeuner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And interestingly enough, uh, I think it's good to share with everybody the fact that in France, you don't eat dessert with a fork. Earlier I asked, should I get out the forks or the spoons? In France, you eat dessert with a spoon. That's yeah, the tradition. Um, wow, the apples are perfectly cooked. Oh my yes, God, it's beautiful. It's a little part for you. Oh, yeah, come down, Ba. Like that? It's good? Yeah, come down. Come down. Right? Merci, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, but when... No, when we're... Christy, when she comes to the house, she eats not all the plate, but the tart, in general, she finishes well. Oh, yeah. Like that? It's good? It's because I've paid attention. Je mange énormément ouais. en bah, voyage avec pas, les clients. Ah oui, tous les soirs, tous les midis, euh, on mange énormément, donc euh, il faut que je fasse attention. Ah, merci. Bien. Okay. Ah, bah, tu penses qu'Axel peut manger un peu comme si... ouais, les pommes, ouais. La pâte, je ne sais pas, mais les pommes, ce soir, mais va, les ce soir, on va vouloir en manger, je pense. Ouais. Ouais. Mmh. Oh, yes. Well, Wish you were here. <laughs>
Sorry, not sorry. This is, <laughs> it's horrible. I didn't have fidget photos in my dark tower. Oh, yes. Should we do a little layer? Yeah. We could do a layer. C'est trop beau, c'est presque. Yeah, we're doing an Instagram now. <laughs> This is part bon of uh, Merci. Merci. Bon bon this is part of why we live here. Okay, why we live in France because we're as the French say, gâté. Gâté pour you, en fait. We're spoiled rotten. Mm. 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 Ça, ce qui est okay. intéressant, c'est le, le côté fondant et confit un petit peu de la mm -hmm. pomme. Mm -hmm. Oh my and you notice it's not a syrupy sucre, it is just... The consistency of the apples mm -hmm. is melting in your mouth. It's delicious. Could we please commentate another sporting apple? I know! <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. It is. Perfect. Thank you, Christoph. Yes. Well, I guess that's a wrap for today. I'm Christy. I'm Summer. I'm Pusso. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so happy you could spend this time with us. We're going to now leave you so we can finish dessert. And come visit us in the Loire Valley. Come visit when you can. And we'll introduce you to... We'll bring you home. Some of the best food yes. and chefs in the region. Our favorite people. And thanks for joining Thank us you. on French Dish. Merci Christophe. French Dish. Bye. 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 Oh my gosh, so good. Whoa. Whoa.